guys. What we're going to be doing today is having a little look at some oxidation and reduction revision that we had previously learned at National 5 level. The first thing that you'll learn at National 5 is this mnemonic oil rig. An oil rig tells you what happens to compounds or complexes when they are oxidised or reduced. So if we look at the oil part first, oil stands for oxidation is loss of electrons. So when you have an atom or an ion or a complex or a compound and you're oxidizing it, that complex compound atom or ion loses electrons. And when they lose electrons, they become more positive. The rig part of the mnemonic stands for reduction is gain. of electrons. So when something is reduced, that thing gains electrons. It's the opposite of oxidation. And oxidation and reduction always happen at the same time. We can find the ion electron equations for ox um, oxidation and reduction in page 12 of the data booklet. So an ion electron equation is just an equation which shows a compound or an atom losing or gaining electrons. So the ion electron part means that the equation contains both ions and electrons. And you can see I've got a little bit of um, the data booklet copied onto this slide here. And we can see, for example, if we look at lithium here, this top one, that if we look at the equation going from right to left, Lithium is being oxidised because lithium is going from lithium solid to lithium at plus, which is lithium ions, and it has to lose electrons to do that. If we look at the equations from left to right, these are being reduced. So if we look at lithium again, it's going from lithium plus on the left to lithium metal on the right, and it has to gain electrons to do that. So reading them from right to left, they're being oxidized, and from left to right, they are being reduced. So for example, if I want to write the ion electron equation for lithium, you would go to page 12 of your data booklet. You're looking up lithium. So I'm looking at the reduction of lithium ions. So I'm looking for lithium plus. It's right at the top. So lithium plus aqueous plus an electron goes to lithium solid. That is my ion electron equation for the reduction of lithium plus ions. For copper two plus ions, we look up copper two plus in the data booklet. Copper two plus aqueous plus an electron gives us copper two plus ions. Sorry, copper 2 plus aqueous plus an electron gives us copper plus ions. And lastly, magnesium 2 plus, if we look up magnesium 2 plus in page 12, magnesium 2 plus would gain two electrons to become magnesium metal, magnesium solid. So it's as easy as looking up these um, ions or atoms on page 12 of the data booklet and copying the oxidation or reduction reaction for that compound. If we are writing the oxidation of um, ions or atoms, for example, silver, our first one here, I'm looking up silver on page 12 of the data booklet. I'm now reading the equation from right to left because that is oxidation. So I've got silver metal which is oxidized to so silver plus ions and it loses an electron in that process. So oxidation electrons are written on the right hand side. Reduction electrons are written on the left hand side. And our second one here is bromine. I'm looking up bromine. Bromine ions are aqueous. When they're oxidized, they become bromine because bromine is diatomic 
and we would be losing two electrons from there. So again, I'm just reading off of page 12 of the data booklet from right to left for oxidation, left to right for reduction. So as usual, we've got questions from the pupil booklet for you to go through. Um, if you pause the video at this point and give those questions a little go, and then you can play the video and go through the solutions with me. So I'm going to start on question 16. Write an ion electron equation for each of the following reactions. So the oxidation of magnesium atoms. So I'm looking up magnesium atoms, so magnesium with no charge in my data booklet. So Mg solid, losing an electron or two electrons, sorry, to become Mg2 plus, plus two electrons. And I'll put in my little aqueous there. For B, I've got the reduction of copper two plus ions to copper. So we have to be careful here because there is more than one copper. And we are specifically looking for the reduction of copper two plus ions to copper metal. So Cu2 plus ions being reduced, so gaining two electrons to give me copper metal. For C, I've got the oxidation of potassium ions. So I am going to look for potassium ions, K plus, aqueous, A oxidation, so it's going to lose sorry, oxidation of potassium atoms, so just K solid, being oxidized to K plus aqueous, plus an electron. And lastly, the reduction of aluminium ions. So aluminium three plus, looking it up in your data booklet, plus three electrons because it's being reduced to aluminium metal, which is aluminium solid. So a uh, mark for each of those, if you got them correct. Question 17 says, complete these equations by adding electrons to the left or right hand side. So we have to decide if these are being oxidized or reduced first of all, and then we can add the electrons in. So for A, we've got bromine, which is bromine atoms, Br2, diatomic. Um, going to bromine negative ions. So those bromine atoms are gaining electrons to get to the bromine ions. So we are plussing on two electrons and that is reduction. I'll just put red for reduction. For B, we've got iron going two plus, going to iron three plus. So it must have lost an electron to get to the three plus. It's becoming more positive. So my electron is going to go on this side and I'll just put an oxidation to show that's been oxidized. C, magnesium going to magnesium two plus. That is again oxidation. We're losing electrons to become more positive, specifically two electrons and that's oxidation again. And our last one, copper two plus going to copper. Well, that is reduction because my two plus is going to gain two electrons to become copper metal and I'll put a reduction there. So again, one mark for each of them, if you got um, one of the, each one of them correct. And um, if you have any questions, you can either shoot me an email or you can comment on the classroom and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a lovely night, guys.